Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It is Wednesday, and this is our daily recap. I'll put this out there for free today. But my thoughts on the market here, and if you look at the SPY, what's going on here is we've had this big move up, and we're digesting it now for the last week. We have options expiration this week, and uh, you know, not much going on. And you know, some of you guys want to get really bearish, and maybe the market's going to yank. Nobody really has a crystal ball. Yesterday we got 16 cents from all-time highs. Today. We have a very tight range candle. Look how small this candle is. Look at volume. There's no volume here. What does stand out is this red right here. Breath across the board is bad. Something else you see here is the oscillators have sold off to slightly oversold and we've gone nowhere. So you have a slightly oversold reading on the oscillators as we've gone nowhere on this. That means if we sell off, we're going to get good and oversold real fast. What had the strength today? It was the cues. The cues were much stronger today, still clinging to green. Well, it just went red for a second ago, is it right here as we're watching it, but clinging right on green. They got, they got close to an all time high as well. Strength in the markets, the IWM, eh, not holding too good, right on the area you want it to hold. This 234 level is where we broke out from. It holds that and pushes back up. That would be bullish. The banks not participating, breaking down today, and energy taking the day off and breaking down a little bit here as well. Okay, so kind of one of those quiet days in the market, but it gave a lot of trades and a lot of things to do. So let's start off with, we talked about Netflix pre-market and how it looked ready to run today, and boy, did it run, but it didn't give much time. Right on the open, first, first sweep of the day, seconds in, they were hitting the weekly 700s, and you got a nice bounce on Netflix today. Unfortunately, the trade was five minutes and it was done. Put a new all-time high in of $700.99 and yanked. I caught this for a nice buck 50 plus, And then it pulled and it went to sleep. I still think Netflix as a chart hip here looks very constructive. What else was very strong today? Apple had a massive move today. If we back this chart up and take a look at it, here's your all-time high of 156.26. It broke this downtrend today, volume. You wanna see volume on Apple? Here. Look at the weekly 155 calls, 372,000 of them traded. Off the charts, flow is off the hook on this thing all day. I'll be watching this one for a break to all-time highs this week if they want to let it go. They may try to preem out all these people that are in that. AMD, oops, wrong place. AMD was strong today again. Got within a little bit of all-time highs. I made nice money on this here. Got to 154.66 before it yanked when the market came in hard. All right, nice push up here. Got within about a buck, a little over a dollar of all-time highs. It continues to be very strong. Microsoft, very strong day, all-time highs. Now, what the, what's going on here? What's the worry? The worry is that outside of names like this, there wasn't a tremendous amount of participation in this market today. Tesla pushed back up above the eight days holding and well. That was smothered in call buying. GM was absolutely just smothered and swarmed in call buying. Next week's 58s are huge. You got big and out of the money calls in December and June and July. I'm sorry, January as well. This put in a new all time high today. Pfizer had flow in it today. Another nice move here. So you can see a big move. He's here on the left side of the screen talking about some of the top flow today, you know, getting close back to its high. So, you know, the market has strength in pockets of it and holding in just fine. One of the more interesting stuff was the May 145s in Hilton today kind of screams to me of um, of stock replacement because it was so big and in the mud and deep in, you know, right at the money but you can see Hilton with a nice reaction to it outside of that it's been a very quiet day in the markets and I don't read overly into this if we sell I think any dip in this market's a buying opportunity to the end of the year and everything kind of feels fine you know staying with the strong names paid today the only other name I traded I had a great trade on a firm but it couldn't hold in yesterday closed well so bottom line here is, you know, we'll see what the next two days bring. We have two days to the end of the week. OPEX on Friday is usually a chop fest, but the markets are holding in. So we'll see where we go. If you want more and more, our links in the description below for my website. I hope everybody's doing well and we'll catch you guys in the AM live at 9 a.m.